I don't know. Well, Almar kind of plays like a sword character, some people will say, just, uh, yeah, outside of the, the projectile campaign. Um, and then you have the uh, Peach and Boozy too, uh, but they're not a, they're not swordies at all. Um, yeah. But it'll be interesting to see, to see how that plays out in the meta game. Because I know people kind of are the same Peach and Daisy is really high on the tier list, but struggles with some of the range on the sorties. So as the sorties rise, maybe that'll be the answer in the meta game. Who knows? But we got Rain on Roy and Yoshi Freak playing Game and Watch. And Game and Watch a very interesting character as well. A lot of uh, the character really got revamped. Um, yeah. Probably one of the characters in terms of just like changes got changed up the most. Yeah, he lost his uh, he lost his credit card for sure, and has like the little, uh, the little uh, you know the forward air, the little bomb throw. Yeah, that uh, his up air is different now. It's kind of like a Mega Man up air. Um, up B it has no wind box. The trampoline is literally just a hitbox. So up B out of shield is a very very strong option um, to get and like to defuse a lot of pressure. And uh, some of the throw games are a little bit uh, a little a little different overall too. Right. Uh, but he's got the berry on the on the smash or on the down smash, and there we go. Uh, Raid not looking so good. Opening up. Let's see if he's able to battle back. Yeah, that that uh down smash berry is very strong as well. It's hard to mash out of that. And forward smash also got a buff as well. But yeah, I mean overall, I, I think this character. I feel like this character is better overall. But it, it, it's hard to say. It's sorry, we'll figure it out. Give it give it a year. Give it one more year and we'll know we'll have a kind of good understanding. At least until uh Nintendo unless Nintendo decides to change everything on <laughs> with a patch or something like that. Yeah. Even if you won't necessarily die from the forward smash, you'll be in a really, really bad position to And it looks like Yoshi Freak knows that too, just throwing out down smash to almost like the remind rain, it's here. And he survived. Yeah. Order, I like it. And it it's, it's interesting because Game Watch can kind of set up situations with that order as well. Ledge trap or, you know, do it in disadvantage. It does not have a lot of priority though. You can just use a move to hit it and yeah. the order. I'm going to close it out here for range. It's going to lose the first time. And the Aquarium does so much damage. They're like 15 damage or something crazy. Up B to up air. And um, let's see. He got these back and. He's cornered if Yoshi freaking battles way out of the corner, he's gonna be in the driver's seat. There we go. And now Rain's got that uphill battle to try to even up the match. Wow, that bomb would do such a good job. Is there a double time? Yes, there is. Rain here stick it right back on the stage. Use that side B, get a lot of damage here. Oh, but the damage sends him right off to the left. Can Yoshi Freak seal out the stock? The, the chair is another great move too. It's kind of like a sword, um, lingers for a very, very long time. Very, very solid, especially for Kim. It's what, with the introduction of Incineroar, it looked like uh, Game & Watch got the, the WWE treatment and started bringing out the uh, chair to put in yeah, some work. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, even down tilt is a uh, very strong move as well. But, I mean, regardless of all these strong moves I'm talking about, Rain is still out here living at 100. I think got like 180. Good. He's uh, it, it's it's pretty. He's in the same position he was at the uh, the last stock. Let's see if he's able to make up some ground. Uh, if not, he's gonna lose the game. Uh, he's on his last stock. And that's another thing too is that that nair is very hard to contest from Game Watch, especially if you're uh, above him. Yeah. It's essentially, just like a disjoint. It's so hard to land on top of that or beat that out. The, the aquarium's been open since 2008 and yeah. just putting in so much damage. Um, Oh, did they, the Nair was different in, uh, in Melee, I'm pretty sure, right? It was, his, uh, it was the Parachute. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he's kind of, oh, the forward tail almost connects. But the get-up attack from Rain. Gonna get that out there. Oh, he needed the last hit to connect. He definitely would have, I guess, not get the kill. I, I guess he needed the, uh, the sweet spot, yeah. Okay, wow, Jack. Yeah, so, oh, okay, he's going to get that follow-up up here. going to eventually get the stock here. But down 78% here. The aquarium is just so hard to deal with, as you're saying, and Rain's already in trouble off stage. And Dang, that's disrespect. Yeah, I was like, I don't know if that's necessary, but it killed anyway. Yeah, and he was going to make it back, too. Well, that's another great thing about Game Watch. He's got upbeat for edge guarding as well, so. All right, opening up, uh, you know, Yoshi free looking strong. Um, Rain, though, you know, after some of the miscues on that first game, getting buried quite a bit, was able to work around it, and he held fairly, fairly even into the latter part of the match. Let's see if he's able to ride that coming into game two uh, to hold his own. It's gonna, 
It's going to be tough, though. He had some situations he had trouble navigating through a lot of the uh, corridor landing trap scenarios coming out from Game & Watch. Uh, you know, the aquarium just putting on so much damage. Let's see what he's able to adjust coming into the second game. Going right back to it. As we were talking about the aquarium. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just like I said, it's very hard to contest that move. But Rain's going to find himself in. Yeah, that, that up B is going to be such a great tool for Yoshi Creek to just kind of use to get out of these disadvantage states. Yeah. It's a really quick move. Okay. Oh, wow, going to go on the top platform as well. All right. Yoshi Creek definitely utilizing these uh, the first platform layout. Yeah, able to navigate his way out of that precarious disadvantage situation and just so much pressure off stage and instead of you know the aquarium he went into the zoo pulled out the turtles and all the damage is coming out oh yeah and right there rain has to go for a direction air dodge but yeah he's just gonna get punished nonetheless from yoshi free and now see if yoshi free can rack up any damage wow i like the retreat there to that platform with the upbeat very very smart he uh, knew that if he grabbed ledge again he would have got Trapped, he would have got hit for free. Rain really struggling. And just uh, Yoshi Freak seems to be throwing out every option. It seems to be working. You don't have the player cam, but some looks like some frustration coming out. I can see the player, but he's able to clean it up and just barely hanging on. If you get the wheels turning on this early stock, maybe he can battle his way right back into it. I feel like every time Rain does get like this committal nair, he's not like. He's hitting on the back side of it, which is so unfortunate because if you want to keep falling up, you want to get that front hit. Not working out for him. There's a down throw trying to get that falling up here, but utilizing that platform for the pressure there. Where he's facing really good stuff. Not from Yoshi Free. Retreat back to the ledge. Trying to use that Nair, that media hitbox. Wow, he didn't get the grounded animation. But it still killed him. <laughs> All right. I think it probably surprised Rain too. He just got the uh, the sour spot. He's like, "Did I get buried? Oh no, I'm off stage." Yeah. Maybe just burned like a double jump. Oh wow, up the there. What? And also same for the up here as well. So much damage. And we really see Yoshi Tree utilizing these uh, up mixups mix ups as well. So so good. And that's going to make it tough for Rain to really make a comeback. As soon as he could get really any momentum going with Roy, Yoshi Freak always has the you know up out of uh, out of the situation card to play kind of mitigate any sort of momentum. But who needs momentum when he got a forward smash that killed so early, got the sweet spot, and, you know, he had a little bit of momentum, but Yoshi Free going right back to work, throwing out neutral airs and up airs. So, so good. Yeah. Definitely just outspacing Rain in that sense. And these up airs and these neutral airs so, so troublesome, and the back air as well. Rain finally going to get some damage, but... Finally touched off. the main stage. Yeah, like, geez, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that back air. Yeah. here. Yep, just nowhere to go. Yoshi Freak's offstage was so, so strong with the Rain Roy. And that's one thing you really, really have to abuse about Roy and Krom is their recoveries aren't the greatest. They still have a yeah. decent amount of mix-ups, but definitely uh, pretty difficult to get uh, to get to work. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, on their strengths as a character, they're really good at walling and controlling the stage. But if you're not touching the ground the entire game, doesn't matter what